All right, guys. Uh, welcome back to the channel. We got a uh, Nate Diaz uh, showcase type deal going on here. Um, yeah. Um, so pretty much, I just recorded these games. Um, we got one game against Wonder Boy, one game against Michael Venom Page, and um, I'm just gonna kind of give you guys my thoughts on at least when I play against like a striker type style, um, how to use Diaz, um, and you can. You're going to kind of see how I respond. A lot of what I'm doing is just reacting to what to what they do, kind of letting them throw what they throw, um, gassing out, blocking a lot of what they do, and immediately kind of transitioning in, into grappling, making it, you know, just a bit harder on them and taking more of their stamina because, again, these guys are strikers. So um, the more I can kind of grind them down to the ground, uh, the better. And that's kind of how you want to use Specifically, this style of Diaz, the uh, active version is a little bit uh, more powerful in the hands. Um, with this Diaz, you want to kind of just walk people down with the hands and then grapple. You want to mix in as much grappling as you can, and you can kind of see that we're staying real aggressive with it. You know, we're constantly forcing him to use his stamina to some capacity here. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to go to back flat, rain down some strikes. Um, and a lot of people normally leave here, so... As far as being a nice person, I get up and taunt on him instead of knocking him out from a uh, back flat. Because it's kind of obvious at this point to me that this guy doesn't really know how to stay on the ground. And um, now this guy's really scared of the takedown, so we're just going to kind of jab cross as he's walking back. Because um, the thing about Nate is that all of his punches are super long, even his crosses, his uppercuts. You can use them from about kickboxing range, and that's what's so good um, when you're fighting a striker, because you just sit at the kickboxing range, and you can just box them. And they uh, also has like a, like a stun hand effect, I believe, where if you get hit them with a jab or a cross, um, say your opponent's trying to do something, it's not going to let them because it's stun effect. And um, yeah. You kind of see there, we just kept the pace up on uh, that Wonder Boy. He couldn't really react, couldn't get any of his combos off. So, yeah, we end up winning game one. Um, and game two is against Michael Venom Page. And you're going to kind of see that we employ the same strategy. We're just going to kind of kind of let them do their thing. And you can see that even right there, he lost a good chunk of his stamina. And hit me with a flying knee, but... You know, his stamina is going to be a lot lower than mine at the end of this round. And that's what we're going to notice. Um, I'm mainly just looking for like, jab cross, some hooks. Um, we're letting him throw a bunch of combos. And we're going to try to sneak a lot of those kicks into the body. Um, and he can hit me with that all day long. Because as you see there, I, if I get like one pull counter, he's, a, he's in a recipe for disaster. And you can see with our activity too, his uh, block bar keeps getting shorter. Um... And we shoot the takedown there just so we kind of give him something. Um, so now he's going to start mixing in uppercuts and he's going to be more susceptible to the pull counter. You can kind of see my idea here. Um, but we're really trying to stay on him. Um, the only time we're moving back is when he wants to try to respond. Um, and what this is going to do is aggravate your opponent. It's going to make them play even worse than they are. Um, and then you're going to kind of get to the state once you start playing like this with Nate where you really only react to what your opponent's doing and ultimately what that's going to do is constantly just give you the advantage because your opponent has to put something out there constantly because if you don't engage, you know, unless they're uh, playing to some capacity, like, you know, there's nothing they can do because you're already winning the round. You're well into winning this round, you know what I mean? And... Um, you can kind of just see with the pressure here, we're shredding through a block two minutes into round one. There's not too much this guy can do. And, uh, yeah, now we're going to shoot, actually go for it. Because now he's worried about the stand-up. So we get a nice dump there. And we have his back. And, uh, yeah, our opponent's going to go. And we're going to go actually look for the trip. He's going to defend. Um, but we're going to hit him with a couple knees. And he's going to break off from the fence. Uh, yeah. And I mean, as of now, this is a pretty one-sided round, um, and that's how you want it to be with Diaz. Like, again, you want to mix in an aggressive uh, grappling style, um, 
along with uh, pressure striking and um, round to round this specific version of Diaz um, it's not you're not gonna hit your opponent's heart with Diaz that's the thing you're just gonna hit them a lot um, if you watch like how Nate Diaz or Nick Diaz fights actually just you know about 50% power in the punches but you're hitting them a lot and then one of those is gonna land is gonna land right you know and then you just keep the pressure and you can see kind of throughout the round like sure our stamina is about even but look at his head health and look at his block bar uh, and he does get you know that here so I switch here go up and he can't hit me so we end that round pretty solid they get about a minute of control um, and yeah we have his face mashed up Kind of see how cut up his face is. Uh, we toss him a good fight in respect, you know, because the way we're the way we're playing, um, this guy's been such a good sport not leaving, you know. Um, but yeah, now we're just gonna employ, we're gonna employ this strategy. We're just gonna keep that pressure on, not not really let him respond. Um, we're just gonna react to a lot of what he does, and we're gonna go low and high, and then the game. Um, and that's how you play Nick Diaz, guys. If you enjoyed the video, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, we're going to have another video like this coming out soon. Thanks, guys.